Hello everyone, welcome to Cloud Part Sala's video series. This video series is on Google Cloud Platform. Today, in this video, we would be looking at how to create a Windows server in the GCP Cloud and connect to the server. For strange reasons, uh, connecting to a Windows server is not as straightforward as it looks like in the Linux platforms because uh, for Linux, we always had a secure shell uh, available on the GCP platform. But for Windows, uh, since we have to do a remote desktop connection, so uh, let's uh, go to Compute Engine and create our first, uh, uh, first VM instance for windows server now the windows server is also hidden somewhere at the bottom of the choose images uh, one so i'll say that is vm vm for windows and uh, we'll, we'll choose the region to be the default i'll go with the default stuff but uh, i definitely would reduce the memory and cpu for uh, the instance that we are creating now you would, might be wondering if one gb of memory would be enough for the windows operating system to come up so this video would be an eye opener to see if the windows uh, server sustains uh, two v cpus and one gb of memory so let's look at if that is going to change now i would choose a different boot disk basically we want to have a windows operating system so i'll just go down the very last option is windows server and in windows server i could select from an array of uh, instances that are available for us let's go with the very latest 2022 data center version uh, if you see uh, we have the default size that comes with this is 50 gb of uh, storage for the boot volume that is the c drive now uh, once this is completed if you now see that uh, when it comes to the firewall rules the only options that we get here is allow http and allow https traffic so since we don't want either of those two traffics uh, let's create our virtual machine and wait for the instance to come up now while this is creating as we got an option to connect to linux virtual machine uh, we are we had this option of an rdp now because that's not possible so what we would have to do is click on rdp and you would see that this is not opening any prompt but it is asking us to download the rdp file which would be used by a third party client in order to do that this would ask me to download the RDP file. Let me put this on my desktop. And uh, I could then click on this option and click on connect in order to enable the connections on my RDP server. Now, uh, so as you remember, uh, so this is now asking us for a password to be punched in and if you remember that during the entire VM creation process we did not provide any password or the username for that would help us to connect to the RDP machine. In order to set the Windows password I need to click on this option that's there when we go inside the Windows uh, instance and click on set password for the username that is by default given to us now once uh, it would then ask us to close this and this is the default password that has been set for our VM instance and what I can do is uh, click on this and open my VM instance I would accept the certificates and then it would allow me to RDP into the virtual machine instance on the gcp cloud now as you see uh, this is taking a bit of time this is because i'm logging in with a user for the very first time and also we are running the entire server on one gp of memory and two vcpus to start with it so this is uh, uh, the the typical login screen that we get uh, whenever we log into any Windows uh, machine. So I am being welcomed into 
So the server, the user profile is being set up. So as expected, the entire boot process is really slow. Uh, in order for me to reach to this screen, it has already taken about two minutes uh, of the time. And uh, I'm waiting for the actual desktop to appear in front of us. Now the entire process would have been better if we would have provided a decent amount of memory and CPU resources for the operating system to boot and uh, for processes to run on the server. But as of now, since uh, this is uh, running on just one gigabyte of memory and two vcpus uh, so that's the reason we are showing a seeing a significant lag on the boot process itself once the server is up i'll definitely take you to the task manager and show you the resource utilization that is uh, happening on the virtual machine instance so as you see uh, we are already logged into the system uh, this actually took about uh, three extra minutes for us to get to the screen and uh, I will go to the task manager and quickly show you the resource utilization that we have on the server one thing that I can clearly say is uh, the server is really struggling in order to boot up and even give us the task manager's uh, window uh, now that that is open let me uh, try to expand this and see what the performance of the server is so if you basically see uh, i already see that the cpu on the server is 100 percent and the memory utilization is uh, up to 97 percent full so that is uh, that is the reason why we see this amount of slowness on the server in the next video uh, let's try to see how we could scale this server up uh, that is making the you know, uh, providing more cpus and memory to the server i believe uh, it's more of the memory that's needed for the server to operate and it's uh, Peak. so we already have two vcpus but it is more of the memory and a combination of this so um, if you would like to see how to scale the server up we would be looking that into the next video i hope you like the video so far and if you're liking the content and the efforts that are being put into the creation of these knowledgeable videos uh we would definitely appreciate if you hit the like button and also share a comment suggesting us what can be improved or what you would like to see in the future videos if you're not subscribed to the channel so far uh, please also subscribe to the channel and uh, we would also like to inform that we undertake courses on aws cloud and devops tools uh, on a regular basis and if you're interested uh, you could uh, definitely reach out to us uh, from the links in the description that are available thank you so much for watching keep having a great day